Hello guys, this is DK on Covered. So what I want to share with you today is a very simple video. So please stay with me till the end. I have something I would like to share with you guys. And don't forget to like and subscribe here guys. I need your support. Please like and subscribe. But anyway, what I want to share with you is two techniques you can use to take your mind off your problems. We are always thinking about our problems what has happened to us what is about to happen or what is happening now majority of the time we are thinking about something either that happened to us in the past something that is happening now or something that is about to happen in the future and most of the time these thoughts frighten us these thoughts puts us in a negative feeling your your emotions are always triggered by your thoughts the way you think so I want to share with you two things you can use it is very basic it is very simple right you can use to take your mind off your problems for once you know what I mean I'm not saying that you should completely ignore your problems but at times you, you can solve your problems better when you feel good when you are at peace inside that is the only way you can solve your problems for example if we um, if we literally took the New York State Building and just uh, put it in the in, in a calm ocean, we will see that building, isn't it? Because the ocean is is calm. But imagine if we put that New York State Building in a stormy ocean, right? All we could see is storm. It is very cloudy. So many what do you call it waves are going up and down. We will not even see the building. That is how your mind works. When it has so many problems, um, it has so many things going on here, stress, negative thoughts, right? And, and even in our feelings, we are always feeling sad, um, discouraged, all those negative things that put us in a negative state. We know that there's no way we can solve our problems. We can't solve our problems that way. We can't get ideas. And I've, most, most of you guys know this anyway, and I've said it in some of my videos, that one of the best ways to get ideas to improve your life is by either lying down and just taking in deep breaths, right? And then just relaxing and meditating upon your, your goal. That's one of the ways you get ideas, isn't it? And that's, to be honest, that's how I, I manage to always get ideas, is when I am relaxed and calm. That's how I get ideas. But if you're all over the place and you're thinking and you're distracted, you're thinking about something else, and you and then the, and then you're jumping and doing so many things at the same time, you can't get ideas. You see what I'm saying? You force yourself. You never get the ideas to that would improve your life. It's the same thing. Um, and so, though, so that's why I'm saying that you could use these two steps or these two techniques to take your mind off your problems. And then once you feel good, once you feel at peace, once you feel happy, you'd realize that the ideas will be pouring right in your mind like a waterfall. You see what I'm saying? It will be coming like non-stop. You see what I'm saying? So the first one that I want to talk about, and I've realized that to be honest, most people don't perform gratitude. I want to talk about gratitude. You see, like I said, majority of the time we are either longing for something in the future we think that oh the only thing I, the only time i can be happy is if i get this job the only time that i will be happy is i if i settle down with this woman or or with this man or if i divorce this woman or with or divorce this man or the only time i'll be happy if is if i stop being friends with someone else someone that you know but what if you you stop being friends with this guy in five years time so are you going to tell me that you're going to be living in misery for the next five years of your life you're going to be unhappy you're going to be feeling sad and depressed for the next five years well good luck with that if good luck if you if, if you make it to that five years anyway you see what i'm saying so when you perform gratitude right it takes your mind off your problems and this time you look at the things that you have because majority of the time we want something i want money i want this i want that why don't i have this you know what i mean we are always focused on what we what we don't have instead of what we have right and to be honest 
the only way one of the ways to that you can attract what you want in your life is by performing gratitude is by being grateful for the things that you have and then the things that you don't have you see what i'm saying if you want something in your life this is basic here everything that i'm, I'm sharing with you guys is very basic right if you want something in your life most of the time even you have to pray for it pray for it so then you can get it in your life so but but that's not the whole point it's, i'm not saying it always be grateful for uh the things that you want in the future i want you to be grateful for what you have now the people around you the people that are making you happy the people that constantly make you um love life again you feel alive again um the money your job all these big basic things it just puts or takes your mind on them and then you realize that oh right i have this i haven't been grateful enough i've always been negative you see what i'm saying so that's one of the ways she can take your mind off your problems and then get feel at peace within right and be happy within it's by performing gratitude perform it doesn't don't don't, don't just write down um, what you are grateful for or pray for what you're grateful for once once a day so one once and leave it perform it quite often every day perform it every day you know what i mean that should be one of your daily habits isn't it that should be one of one of your daily um, routine by performing gratitude or writing it down or just speaking it out loud the things you are grateful for and like i said you can even be grateful for the things you want in the future you know what i mean but anyway the next one is 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 something that i've realized when when i'm talking to people that i know when i talk to people online right is that we are always like i said most 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 of us want happiness love we want peace we want compliments from other people we want all these things right but the thing is that this is a law in the universe right if you want something you must pay the price right if you want something what did i say if you want if you need it's a, if you want something right you need to give out something you see it's like money if you want money what you need to do is either render services quality and enough quantity of service that would benefit people so if you want love you need to give out love you see what i'm saying if you want blessings you need to give out blessings even even if you go to the park like what i do at times when i go to the park and i see strangers just sitting down there in the corner i just say god bless you or divine love surrounds you divine love. so if i see at times when i see 100 200 people each and every one of those 200 people i see divine love surround you divine love surrounds you because i want divine love around me as well you see what i'm saying so if you want love if you want compassion well then send love and compassion to even strangers if you want happiness if you want compliment if you meet your friends your family compliment them you see what i'm saying that's 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 even a form of you sending gifts see when when at times when we say give our gifts it's not always about giving out physical gifts at times you could just pray for them or whatever you buy you might believe in you could just send out kind words to those people even if they are not around you, you, you we already know about the tele what do you call it telepathy right we are all kind of sharing thoughts so imagine the things that we are saying in a way we are sharing it with someone else someone that is 5 miles away from us so i'm saying the things that so you have to realize most a lot of the time the things that we think about other people right we are we are literally sending sending them out sending to them right and obviously we are sending them back to us as well so if the person is in the same vibration if if for example if you if someone is thinking negative about you right and in your life as well and in your own in your own thoughts all you do is just think negative guess what you are more likely to attract that person's thoughts or his his evil thinking towards in your life as well you see what i'm saying and the person too would be attracting the same thing towards him so if you want peace happiness and all those things that would make you feel happy in life you need to send it out to people you know what i'm saying you need to send it out to people or even if it even if it's not always sending out love and compassion or complimenting your neighbor your friend or just doing all these things right 
if you don't want to do these things at least try your best to think of ways you can help someone one person a day or maybe you give a pound one pound or one dollar to a homeless person or um, you could help your colleague at work you could even uh, give a beneficial advice to a stranger your boss anyone when you go to work do it with your 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 full heart your full concentration all these little little things will come back to you multiplied you see what i'm saying but the thing is that the reasons why we are always attracting misery and negative circumstances is that the things that we are sending out there most of the time it's not things that is beneficial to others so then we are not going to improve our lives our life our lives is not going to be improved because we are not sending now something in the universe that is going to improve people or anything out there so what 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 makes us deserve the good things in life we don't deserve it either you see what i'm trying to say so you have to see it that way you have to see life that way you know i mean it is a law if you want money well you need to pay the price for it by finding ways right you can improve someone's life right you render service you render something fine you know what i'm saying if you want to be the richest man we'll find ways that you can improve other people's lives you know what i mean and that's how in your return as well your success will be in direct proportion to the quality and quantity of service you render to people right so your happiness your prosperity your love your health even health send out health health blessings to people and you will get it in direct proportion to the amount of people you sent it to so like i said if you go to the park if you're in the street and you meet every person you meet every stranger you meet you say god bless you god bless you god bless you god bless you you would get in direct proportion of that quality and quantity and when i say quality and quantity of blessings you send out there is when you do it with your full emotions and your whole being you are sincere about what you're doing that is what would make everything that you send out there quality and powerful but if you say these things like how i'm saying i'm speaking to you right now with no emotions or even less emotions that is not quality now so be sincere take it out of your mind that you are doing it so you can get something back that is no quality to me quality is when you're doing everything with your whole heart behind it so i'm saying so yeah these basic things could take your mind off your problems and make you feel at peace i was talking to one of my mates yesterday before i finished and <clears throat> so she's a christian so she says she was explaining something she was saying that she was telling me about um her preaching to her mom and she told her mom to pray more right and then she told me that the next day her mom told her that she prayed for our prime minister Boris Johnson and we were laughing but then we are realized I was thinking that is one of the best ways to attract health into your life because at times like i said at times too we all want something but we can't get it but if you send that one thing that you want to tell us for to someone else you are more likely to attract it back into your life so if she sent health to someone else she's going to get health back multiplied See what I'm saying? So yeah. And 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 before I finish, one thing too that she said was what? Forget about your past and focus on God. So forget about your past and focus on God through you showing gratitude and you sending out love, peace, harmony, compliment, physical gift, whatever it might be to other people. That is you when you call it focusing on God, you showing love and appreciation to God you see so all these things always think about it like that so when you do bad as well if you do anything bad or negative this is you showing negative things towards God's children or God's um, creation and guess what you're going to get that negative things back as well it's just how it's in it love law, law of compensation by Emerson he says something like that so yeah I hope you guys got something out of it yeah 
before i finish though thank you to all my subscribers i really appreciate your support thank you very much and thank you to you guys as well for staying to the end thank you to the new subscribers i really appreciate your support yeah guys but anyway i'm done i'm talking too much thank you guys yeah share this video to your friends and family on every social media platform as well take care guys